What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here, Creek Squad. How are y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. So, Church put out a Wasted on You remix, Morgan Wallen remix, is what this is. He made a video about how um, people were talking shit and mainstream talking shit and stuff like that, the industry and everything like that. He made a really funny video just a few minutes ago, not very long ago. I actually told him that I was going to head over here and do this because I'm always excited whenever Church puts something out, especially when it's something like this. He was basically saying in the video that I had just watched that he wants to like show people that they don't need like this big million dollar kind of crazy studio to like fucking make hit songs and shit he so he's taking like the morgan wallen song remixing it inside of a room that a lot of people would say is an ideal for recording and he's showing that you can still make a banger fucking song with it with minimal equipment in 15 minutes of just writing and recording real quick whenever you have a moment to and those are sometimes the greatest songs that ever happen like Whenever you're writing, a lot of the time, the fastest things that come to your mind are the best ideas. It doesn't always have to be super complicated and well thought out and shit. And that's essentially what he was saying the point of this was. So I'm excited to check it out and see what he did with this remix right here. Church, I appreciate you, man. You're fucking awesome. Thank you for the support. It means the world to me have you on my side when it comes to my recovery and everything it's been a hell of a journey so it's highly appreciated and your generosity is highly appreciated as well man thank you brother i appreciate it greek squad we're gonna get into it you guys know the deal on here already you've been hanging out with me for a while so you guys know what we do on here talk about mental health addiction everything like that break down all the lyrics whole nine yards on the lyrics always I love breaking lyrics down. You guys know I get off on tangents when it comes to that. So, if you guys are new here, that's basically what you can expect from me. We just have good vibes. We have fun times. We break down awesome lyrics and listen to some amazing music together. And I like to encourage you all to get help for mental health and addiction problems if you have those going on in your life. I survived that for my own self, and it's been a hell of a road, but we're here, and we have a good time, and I get to inspire you guys to do the same thing for yourself with the struggles that you're going through. Pull yourself out of it, man. It'll get better. Grab a hold of your life. Live a better life for yourself. Help other people do the same thing, and that's really what life is all about at the end of the day. That's why I like to get on here and encourage you guys to do that for yourselves if you're struggling. So, we're going to get into some church for you. I'm done rambling now. I'm Bacasa Kabi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Wasted on You Remix by Church with Kalani on the beat too. A strong one. Oh, but when I get lonely, I do. Mammy gets a burning, lean back on the bourbon. Sure as hell can't keep leaning on you. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again. It's all my fault. I dropped the ball. You're gone and I'm gone. Three sheets to the wind. Thinking about all I wasted on you. Church gets into these kind of bags with the super, super catchy 
well, they're like mainstream style flows, and that's kind of what he's doing with this, as he said in the video that I watched before I came to listen to this. Just showing that you can add your own flair to what it is that they have going on there, and you don't even have to have that expensive equipment and, like, super proper room even. I mean, like, shit. <clears throat> You can record anywhere if you just know how to balance sound out and you actually know how to mix shit. You can really turn a lot of things into gold if you're in a bad pinch, right? <laughs> I've recorded a lot of different ways and sometimes even open air digital recording has really good sound quality for like acoustics and stuff like that. And that's kind of what church is displaying here the quality is really good it sounds really good i love his voice on this one i like that he's singing i like when he gets into his singing bag we've been getting into a lot of hip-hop lately though we've been, he's been wrapping it up lately for real and he says in these lyrics i like the lyrics a lot he said i don't always wake up in the morning pour myself a strong one but when i get lonely i do yeah, I can relate to that. Definitely, that's relatable. Your memory gets to burn and lean back on the bourbon. Sure as hell can't keep leaning on you. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Saying I can't... Wow, that's deep. Can't keep leaning on the same person. And bear, making them bear my weight, essentially, is what he's saying there. So instead... You go back to the bourbon, and you pour yourself up a strong one. Looks like you're learning the hard way again. It's your fault. It's all my fault. I dropped the ball. Yeah, you're gone, and I'm gone. Three sheets to the wind. Wow. Thinking about, oh, this is a song. For, this could be even about a previous breakup in life, younger days and shit. A lot of songs get written like that. I'm not one to assume what story Church might be telling, but his music is about his real experiences. This is probably about the younger days describing the attitude of being way too rebellious, getting shit-faced, getting yourself into situations that can't work out when it comes to love or friendship, relationships and bonds with people and stuff. It's very relatable, especially to the younger years of life. Said I've okay, so thinking about all I've wasted on you, all of this time and all of this money, that as well, wasted time and money, all of these sorries I don't owe you, honey, mm, all these miles on the Chevy and prayers in a pew, all them days I spent wasted on you, wasted on you. So it feels like both circumstances are wasted, right? That's the double inside of it, the time and all of the energy and the trust and everything feels misplaced and wasted in the situation and then you end up getting wasted to deal with the situation been there done that a hundred times really really relatable to younger life specifically you settle into better things once you start to get older generally if you're not like setting out to fuck your life up you know what i mean <laughs> If you're not, like, setting out to screw everything up, you'll settle into nicer things as you age. This won't be different, my heart would listen to my head and these boots on my feet. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again, and that's why I've been wasting on you. understand why mainstream won't leave church alone because when he actually decides to do something that's slightly mainstream in his own flair it sounds fucking better than any of the ones not that they're bad 
I'm not saying that they're bad. Morgan Wallen is fantastic. Like, he's a great artist. Very fantastic. And he definitely has songs that I've enjoyed. But what I'm saying is Church just has this flair and attitude about him where, as, like, he was talking about kind of being almost the last openly outlaw kind of country singer in the entire world right now <laughs> because of the way mainstream is taking things. Most country singers aren't independent. Most of them are signed. And that's why the door is mostly just open for church to do what he does. And they want that, though. Like, that would brighten it up. But church knows that they're going to water it down. And they're just going to try to use them up for everything that he has to offer. And then try to find the formula and use it on somebody else that isn't him. That's what they would do. Yeah. That's how it works. That's how they are, man. <laughs> They're fucking shysty, bro. <laughs> They'll fucking take your formula, claim it as their own, hand it to somebody else, and tell that person to claim it as their own. <laughs> it's like a triple theft. It's fucked up, bro. Church, church understands that. And that's why he does shit like this on his own instead. He gives it to us and entertains us with it and makes them sit there and be like, what the fuck, you just remixed my artist song. You know? <laughs> it's great. It's fucking great, man. He said, but these lyrics, though, I love these lyrics. They really are deep. He said, yeah, I swore this one would be different. My heart wouldn't listen to my head and these boots on my feet. I love bars like that. It's just really relatable to everyday life, to, like, blue-collar workers, regular, necessary workers, you know, necessity workers that do that kind of work and everything. It's very relatable to those types of people, just regular down-home people can relate to songs and lyrics like this. I appreciate that. Looks like I'm learning the hard way again, and that's why I've been wasted on you. Yeah, wasting the money, the sorries he feels he doesn't know. Miles on the Chevy, yeah, driving to go see this person that you've wasted time on. Or people, prayers in a pew, literally praying for things to get better. Just still days spent wasted. Man, that's deep, relatable stuff right there. And like I said, when Church gets into that mainstream bag, his attitude just matches it much better. It's like listening to old country music back whenever Johnny Cash was crashing tractors <laughs> down hills and shit. <laughs> you gotta fucking love it. your stuff that's packed up in the back. This was really nice. This was really good. He did a good version of that. And I really love the lyrics. It's simple. It's not like overwritten. And like he said, he's just showing what you can do in fucking 10 to 15 minutes if you have a little bit of spare time and you are able to just push record with a track. 
what you can do even in just a regular room that isn't built as a studio. It sounds fantastic. It sounds just like something that would be, it should be on the radio, actually. It should be on the radio. But they won't do it. They won't do it. They're like, fuck you. <laughs> you did Morgan's song. We're not going to put the remix on the radio. <laughs> Church wouldn't want it there anyhow. He's preferred to stay right here. <laughs> you got to love it, man. You got to love it. It just goes to show how um, diverse art can be depending on who's doing it, really. You just take the same beat or the same melody and you hand it to somebody like Church, they're not going to touch it the same way as a mainstream artist that's coached by ghostwriters and coached by agents and managers is going to touch it. Because they're going to touch it the way that they're told to, whereas Church is going to tell anyone that tries to tell him how to do it to get bent because he knows what he's doing. And that's the difference. It really boils down to personal preference and attitude at the end of the day. Nothing against anyone who's out there making their money and having their career in mainstream. It's not that we hate the artists, it's that we hate the industry. That's really it. The artists are fantastic. They're all talented and have things to offer in their own regards that are very unique. You look at any of them, they all have different aspects that are diverse to them that they could offer. But the labels just try to make them all sound the fucking same for the radio. And then, you know same 30 songs get played so many times that you never want to hear them again in your entire life and then they have to come up with the next big fucking idea right <laughs> because everybody's tired of it from it getting overplayed stuff like this just has replay value where you can chill and listen to it especially like church's whole catalog especially his whole catalog just has an insane replay value that mainstream lacks because it all sounds the same where you get into someone like church and you're listening to three different genres on 20 fucking four different albums or however many it is now right <laughs> so it's like you pick which sides you want to work on but just handle your business at the end of the day and as long as you're enjoying yourself and living your best life pick whichever direction you want to go i prefer independent and church feels the same way about that so i rock with church i appreciate that he's still independent after growing as much as he has right it's fucking incredible that he stayed independent the whole time and didn't sell himself to anybody for money or anything i respect the fuck out of that so freak squad i hope you enjoyed this i really enjoyed this a lot this was a nice one the original video will be in the description as always subscribe to church support the artists we have on the channel especially independent ones it's a lot of work they do it on our own right as an independent artist who makes my own music i can tell you it's definitely a lot more difficult when it's you coming up with every idea, right? <laughs> so take that for what it is. It's a different, it's a different breed whenever it comes to handling it that way. So respect to all the independent artists. I appreciate you guys tuning in, Church. Thanks for the support, man. I appreciate you. I'm Vacasa Kabi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment or suggestion, subscribe up this way, bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.